सर्क्युलर वॉटर टैंक माय सेल्फ चेतन जी कोनापुरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर हाउ दिस इज द लर्निंग आउटकम आफ्टर दिस सेशन सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द अप्रोच फॉर डिजाइन ऑफ सर्क्युलर टाइप ऑफ वाटर टैंक let us see the introduction so you can see here the circular type of water tank in this uh, photograph which is resting on ground now component wise if you we, if we discuss uh, so one circular uh, wall and which is taken from the base this it is resting on the base slab base slab is completely resting on the ground and uh, circular wall is supporting the root slab so there, there are three elements but in case of circular uh, uh, shape uh, whatever important uh, uh, element is in, uh, in the world, circular type of water tank is the circular wall that is more important the casting of the circular wall is also a difficult task okay now let us see the first point of introduction here the design of circular tank is simple in nature okay because the only one element is there most important thing is there there is no any joint in the wall there is joint in wall and uh, base slab uh, joint in the wall as well as the slab but uh, in the circumferential between the within the wall there is no any joint for the same capacity its construction requires less concrete than the rectangular tank thus it is economical for large capacity storage okay so for small capacity the rectangular water tank proves economical because of uh, its a shape simple shape but whenever uh, if we go for large capacity then whatever amount of concrete is required for casting of uh, uh, this uh, shape that proves economical for large capacity only now on account of circular shape it is can be made water tight easily as there are no sharp corners most important there is no joint as well as corner so uh, as the theory which is uh, uh, required in uh, liquid retaining structure that is the no crack theory or the crack uh, shall not be developed structurally so basic cause of uh, the crack as well as the leakage of water is the through the corners or through the joints so that joint is not there in a circular shape within the wall now for purpose of design circular water tanks can be divided into following categories you can see here there are two categories tanks with sliding or flexible joint between floor and wall floor base slab second is circular tank with rigid joint between floor and wall okay why this category is made because the circular uh, tank uh, its base is fixed this is one condition base is flexible that is another condition uh, because the joint itself in this water tank is in the in between the base slab and the vertical wall and that uh, that joint is a critical point for from design point of view from uh, construction aspect also now let us see the first the circular tank with flexible base uh, between uh, the joint is flexible between floor and wall for that uh, the sketch will uh, help us this is the vertical wall of circular water tank and this is floor or base slab in this the connection between this vertical wall and base slab is not rigid it is flexible means the joint itself is a flexible how it is made you can see here the joint ceiling one member is given steel plate is also used sliding surface or rubber pad is used here the contact between this floor and vertical wall is through the sliding surface so this wall may slide or it may uh, there is no any restraint at the bottom of the wall so it is the, that's why it is called as a flexible what is the uh, use of this uh, concept uh, if it is made flexible restriction is not kept prevention is not there so that there will not be any bending or movement at the bottom of this wall whatever uh, load will act that is in the triangular form that pressure will act at uh, the result point of resultant 
and uh, according for that uh, pressure the wall uh, must sustain that pressure and it should be in the equilibrium the wall is free to displace or move outward when the internal water pressure is applied hence the wall is subjected to hoop stress only hoop means circumferential stress that acts only in the circumferentially in the wall the hoop stress or hoop tension i would say that uh, hoop stress is having nature of tension that uh, hoop tension t is equal to gamma h d by 2 gamma is the unit weight of water d is the diameter of water now only for this hoop tension this what uh, water tank is uh, designed so hoop tension is acting in the circ circ uh, cir circular vertical wall and for that it is there from design point of view this is very simple type of uh, structure i would say so circular uh, tank with flexible joint that is very simple for the design because only one type of uh, load action is there that is the hoop tension now my question for all of you stu students uh, okay we have discussed about the flexible base uh, water tank now where will be the maximum hoop stress in this tanks with flexible base that i am asking you these are the four option a one is a bottom b top c middle d is mid span what is the answer just think of that and give the answer regarding that where is the maximum hoop tension hoop stress i would say Okay, it is at bottom. Okay, now let us go to the circular tank with rigid joint between floor and wall. Rigid joint means what the reinforcement of uh, slab and reinforcement of floor. Reinforce means your uh, reinforcement of the vertical wall is taken from the base slab. Then that uh, that uh, that will become rigid joint. And if it is rigid joint, then definitely there will be the moment. and there definitely there will be two actions which is shown in this uh, sketch this is a load action at different portions now this is vertical wall a b and uh, wh that is the pressure which is acting at the bottom and uh, this is h height and remaining is the h minus h this is the height of the wall if you see a b c d this is the actually load for the cantilever action this where diagram b is explaining load for the cantilever action and uh, it is explained very nicely in this sketch this triangle a d b this triangle is the load taken by hoop action and this triangle b d c this is load taken by cantilever action so the load shared in the circular water tanks you having rigid base rigid joint is uh, by two way by two actions okay so the cantilever action is very simple now here when the this entire load is shared by these two actions then there are the two shaded areas and according to that the load will be taken okay now the lower portion you if you observe this is the cantilever action upper portion is hoop tension and the cantilever moment at the base is gamma that is unit weight into h by minus h into h by 3 where you, gamma is the unit weight of water and the maximum hoop tension at d here at this point is gamma h minus h into d by 2 where h may be h this point of d it may be h by 3 or 1 meter whichever is more suppose height is uh, substantial then if it is divided by 3 then it is more than 1 then uh, h must be more than 1 but if uh, it is less than 1 then the 1 meter that is taken as the point t now let us see one more phenomena about behavior of uh, circular water tank with rigid base now the bottom of the this cantilever we can say as a fixed because the reinforcement anchorage is there so there is no any possibility of uh, circumferential elongation of the wall so hoop stress is zero at this bottom and the entire liquid pressure is resisted by the cantilever action okay at top is uh, uh, it is circular water tank that's so why top is uh, not uh, completely 
left to uh, sway or do displace outside okay so the first is this is the cantilever action here you can see now whenever load is acting this will act in this way this figure here a shows likely deformation of the wall this is deformation of wall a b shows load distribution on the wall the load distribution is also shown here you can see here this is the pressure acting here and uh, this will be the load distribution on the wall and figure c shows the bending moment diagram for this wall so this is tension inside and as you go out uh, towards top of the wall the tension will be outside okay so this will explain you the, the loading phenomena bending moment diagram as well as the deformation of the circular water tank with the rigid base now these are the design constant let us see this is the rectangular section and uh, this is the de depth of total axis now it's a regular thing for the students just for uh, quantification i have shown you this uh, diagram uh, the total axis is m sigma cbc divided by in bracket m sigma cbc plus sigma s3 lever arm is jd lever arm is 1 minus n by 3 and you can see here and moment of resistance m is kbd square where k is 0.5 sigma c b c j into n now this is the con equivalent concrete section for uh, whenever the steel is converted because working stress is used for the rectangular water tank and uh, modular uh, m is the modular ratio that is 280 divided by 3 sigma c b c these are the design constants which you can use in the these are used in the designs of water tank Th these are the reference this is the reference for the session Thank you.